Hello everyone, I'm Saif and today I'm going to walk you through how to build a website using Wipadur.com. You can do this effectively and easily through your Wipadur and you can do it in just a matter of minutes. You won't need prior coding experience or any experience related to building out websites or anything wild like that. You can just jump on and start building it right away. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's get it started. First, let's navigate to my account, then press on new website, the website name, my company is called Papetku, and you just need to verify that you are a human and create a website. I will need it pre-filled with content, which will help me to display uh, preset templates for me, which will help me to design it. So now I will search for the business type. It's oil and gas. And the name is Papetku. So let's continue. Sorry. Good. I think because it's not okay here. Now, now we will. Let's go for continue. And here we are. So now let's pick one of the templates that exist here. I will pick this one. Okay, I will... Uh, the subdomain uh, already exists, so I will pick any one of these. I think pavetco.uk is good enough. So let's go. I will choose the free plan. And here it is building my website. And here it is your website. So first of all, let's start modifying our website to be suitable for our for my company. Here it gives me like preset components that I don't want to keep without modification, so I will start editing on them. First of all, I will start editing on this background image. This is done by pressing on this edit button. Then I will just remove this image, I don't want it. And instead I will upload a new one from my PC. And here we are. You can also expand your background from here. Then we shall press save. Great. Next, I will add uh, a logo and a text to my header. Here I will choose logo and text. He already added the name of the corporation. I will just add CO abbreviation, which stands for corporation. And I will add uh, a logo. This is done by double flicking and choosing the logo you want. And here we are. Next, I will add a title to my header here. A title plus button. And I will make it striving for perfection, which is the slogan of my company. Perfect. Now, if you want to add an image, all what you need to do, let's just save this first. All what you need to do is to just hold and drop. So you can drop it here below. You can drop it to the right. It's up to you. I will drop it to the right here. And I will upload an image from my device. This is a little bit not synchronized because I need white space over here. So I will just sir for add white space and I will add it here. Then I will expand it. No, no, sorry. I will just remove it. And I will re-add it above this only, not above both. Perfect, now I will expand it. 
So welcome to Papetko will be in the middle, just like that. Amazing. Now we added the essential blocks that we want for our website. Of course, we need to for edit their format, their colors, their, their uh, text color, their text alignment, and so on and so forth. This is done from Design tab. You can access to the different colors of every component of your website, like the accent color, the content section. Let's, for example, change the content section into this color. Press select. As you can see, it changed from white to off-white here. You can also edit your fo footer, your width, and so on and so forth. You can also edit your text. You can edit its color. You can edit uh, the size. You can also edit the default the font. However, I will just leave it as it is, and I will save on this edits. Amazing. Now let's add a new page to our website. This is done by pages. Let's choose contact page. And this is the default. We need to add some features to it. So we will scroll down here. We will add a map which, which represents our location. We will also add some features like rating, maybe social icons and social share. And here we are all set up. Now let's edit on this button because it, it now doesn't serve any function. So let's press on edit and write contact us, then change the link set to this button to contact. By saving this, I, I'm ordering, sorry, I will just rewrite contact us and save. <laughs> I forgot the T, my, my mistake. And press on save. This way I, I give an order to this button whenever it's pressed to move the user to the contact page. So let's try it out. Let's press on visit website and see the preview. So if I'm a user and I pressed on contact us, it will just move me to the contact page as we can see here. So if I'm at home page and I press on contact us, I am automatically transferred to the contact page. Perfect. Now let's see an amazing feature in Wupador, which is the mobile view. In mobile view, you can enable mobile bar, which enables you to uh, add these sections in, at the bottom. Uh, you can also uh, deactivate any one of them. And you can also add some others like WhatsApp, for example, and here you will find the edits. So let's see the settings. And now let's return to the original view. Now you have created your own website. Let's just publish it. So we will finalize the whole process. And I will choose this address that I have already used before. It asks me to upgrade, so I will just uh, close it and I will press once more on publish. And choose the free subdomain. And here we are. Perfect. So let's press on the link and see our website and how it looks.
Amazing, isn't it? And if we pressed on this button, it will transmit us to the contact page. And just as simple as that, you have your website all built out. So I hope this made things clear on how uh, Webador works and how it can be so easy to build a website in a matter of minutes. Have fun building your own website and thank you for watching.